about about sex, about um, uh, their sexuality, and also about uh, the more common everyday uh, problems uh, of uh, being a woman, like having discharge, uh, smell, uh, menstrual cramps, uh, yeah. too much bleeding, uh, or uh, yes, yes, things like that. doctors and too few professionals have um, dared to talk publicly about these things and um, and it's not the media haven't uh, uh, given any space for women uh, and researchers and medical professionals to to talk about women's issues in a serious way it's all all the space they put out is for you know um, um, more graphic tabloid things and not proper information that the people actually need. That has to be the myth about the hymen uh, mm-hmm. because we have known the truth uh, about this for more than a hundred years in medical communities. Uh, so the myths tell you that uh, virgins are supposed to bleed the first time they have sexual uh, intercourse or female virgins. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only kind there is. Yeah, male yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, But And also uh, the fact that uh, the hymen is supposed to break and uh, disappear uh, when a woman has done that first intercourse. Uh, and that leads to the idea that it's very simple to see the difference between uh, the genitals of uh, a virgin woman and the genitals of uh, a woman who has sexually experienced. Um, but in reality, the hymen is uh, a very elastic, uh, open structure, like a ring or like a crescent moon. Uh, so mm-hmm. it's it's very flexible. So when uh, uh, when you insert the penis or whatever you like, it uh, doesn't necessarily take any damage. It's, it's really really elastic and. So only about 50% of women need it anyway. So the fact that we have had this practice of shaming women if there is no blood on the sheets the day after a wedding night, that's uh, that's horrible in so many ways. But but especially when you see that um, uh, the, the myth doesn't make any sense.